What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here and moving on to the next video. In this example, we're given this graph here of f of x and we have to state at which x values is the function discontinuous and why. And before actually getting into this graph, I want to do a quick review of the definition of continuity. So basically, f of x, if you remember, is continuous at an x value of a if there are three conditions met. So if the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists, Number two, f of a at that x value is defined. And then finally, number three, the most important one is the limit, this limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to that f of a value. And so when we're talking about the x values at which this is discontinuous at and why, I'm going to be referring to that definition. So looking at this graph, the first x value at which it's discontinuous is negative 2. Notice that there is a vertical asymptote there. That's why it's discontinuous. So we basically have to take our pencil off the paper in order to get to this other side here to continue the function. So the reason is there's a vertical asymptote, but let's be a little bit more specific. Let's relate it to these, uh, to these conditions of continuity. Why does it fail? Well, notice the limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x is equal to what? Notice it's equal to negative infinity from both sides going towards negative infinity. But number two, notice that f of negative two is what? Is it defined? No, it's undefined because there's a vertical asymptote there. So f of negative two is not defined. And therefore, the limit as x approaches negative two of f of x does not equal f of negative 2. And the main reason is because f of negative 2 is not defined. So this would be the specific reason at which at an x value negative 2, the function is discontinuous. So if we continue on with the graph, what's the next x value where it's going to be discontinuous? Notice it's going to be discontinuous at this x value 0. So we get to here. And then there's a jump there. We have to take our pencil off the paper. So at an x value of 0, the function's also discontinuous. And the reason why is because there's a jump discontinuity. And the more specific reason why is because the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x does not exist. So it breaks that first condition. Now, why does it do that? Well, for a limit to exist, it has to approach the same value from both sides. So notice as we approach 0 from the negative side of this function, what, what's the y value approaching? It's approaching this y value 3. And then the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of f of x, from this side, it's approaching that y value of 1. And so because both of these are not equal, it means that this limit does not exist. Right? So it's breaking that first rule of uh, continuity. And more specifically, you want to show both of those one-sided limits. That's usually how you show that it's not continuous for a jump discontinuity. Notice the other conditions. So this is condition 1. Condition 2, notice that f of 2, no, sorry, f of 0 we're dealing with, my bad. f of 0 is defined at 3. Notice that this is a solid dot here. So f of 0 is equal to 3, so it does pass this condition, number 2. But again, the limit 
is not, uh, does not exist. That's why it's discontinuous. But condition two, just want to make a note that it is uh, passed because it is defined there at three. It's just approaching different values. So that limit's not existing, so it's discontinuous there. Okay, and then the next x value where it is discontinuous is this x value of four. And notice at that x value of four, there's a hole. Right, so we have to take our pencil off the paper there and then come back here to keep going. So at an x value of four, it's discontinuous. Let's go through the conditions. So notice that the limit as x approaches four of f of x, notice that that does exist. What does it equal? Well, notice that it equals this y value of three. It's approaching from both sides that same y value. So the limit exists. Notice also that f of four is defined here. That's the y value five, this hole right here. So these first two conditions pass, but notice that the third condition fails. Notice that the limit as x approaches four of f of x, this here does not equal f of four, because this, as we said, is equal to three, and this f of four is equal to five. And so it's because of that third condition here at a whole that the function is discontinuous.